Hey guys, it's Phoenix. So I wanted to come and do a coronavirus prepared shopping haul. Um, today you'll see we're going to shop right from home to pick up our order, as well as going to Costco. You'll see what we got and how the experience was. Um, you'll see the lines and how everything was prepared and ready to go. And um, how we, you know, were able to get in and out and get the things that we needed. Hey guys, it's Phoenix. So I wanted to come and do a quick um, coronavirus uh, shopping haul. We literally was down to nothing, like nothing in our fridge um, because we had to schedule an appointment for the shop at home thing with ShopRite. I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with that, but you order the groceries, you go pick them up, blah, 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 blah. They did not have openings for two weeks out. So my husband and I were just like, you know, we're just going to make do with what we have, eat up what we have, which is what you should do anyway. Um, and then, you know, we'll go out and we'll get our order. Um, so I'm going to show you guys what I got and then I'll tell you about the shenanigans and then I'll post pictures <laughs> of what it was like out there. Um, so yeah, here we go. So we're going to start here. Um, I got packages of yeast. They didn't have the big pack of yeast. So I just got a bunch of different packages. And I think these were $1.19 per pack. And you get three packs because I've been making a lot of bread and a lot of baked goods and stuff. Um, that was the one thing my husband was concerned about was that we weren't going to be able to get bread, which we actually got today. But um, the last time we went shopping, we didn't. So he wanted me to get this. And we wound up getting... Um, Two, I think it was a 25 pound bag of flour from Costco, the last shopping trip. Um, we restocked back up on our Splenda. Do not, do not come for me about my Splenda. I will eat Splenda until the day I die. I've never smoked, had a drink, or did any drugs in my life. I'm going to eat my Splenda. <laughs> um, and then this we got for Poochie, uh, Miss Paisley Rain. She normally does not eat this brand, but you know slim pickings here so we gotta get what we gotta get um and the kind that i usually get her is the bella trays which is usually like two meals but then this kind of winds up the girl said that she basically lived off of one can of this for like a week so that might actually be better if she actually eats it um we got some nest tea cans my husband got that um we got some more pasta because i have a ton of pasta sauce but no really no pasta um, some cereal. My husband and the kids like cereal. I'm not a really a big cereal eater. Um, tuna, which is really good. I was out of um, granulated uh, garlic powder, so we got some of that. I am also um, running low on adobo, which y'all know. Mama puts adobo on everything but ice cream, so it's. I was freaking out. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to have to go back out there and get me some adobo. Um... I did a shop right from home order and I ordered syrup, which they did not have. So thank God they had it at Costco. Um, and then we needed some more oil because <laughs> I went old school. For those that are um, over 30, y'all know how your grandmamas used to use the oil, cook her chicken in it, and then drain off the, you know, little bits and put it back in the can. I've been doing that. I'm not going to lie. I've been doing that for like <laughs> the past week because I was so afraid that I wasn't going to be able to get any more oil. Um, yeah, so... Uh, we got some ketchup and I had ordered um, a bag of tomatoes from ShopRite, which they didn't have. So they substituted three little tomatoes, which is fine because I'm really the only one that eats tomatoes in my house. And then I saw a really good cookie recipe with Crisco. I never, ever, ever, ever have bought Crisco in my life. But um, there was a really good recipe that I had saved for really soft chocolate chip cookies. Um, and like I said, I've been trying to bake a lot more. Um, so, yeah. Um, we got some more olive oil, um, apple juice for my husband and the kids. I do not like apple juice at all. And I just realized that was organic. We are not like organic or vegan or anything like that, but he grabbed that. So there you go. Um, <laughs> and then I also realized these are organic. We love, love, love Brussels sprouts in my house. We roast them up with garlic salt, um, and olive oil and we put balsamic glaze on them. So and then because I'm nuts, um, we got another two pack of Folgers coffee because I, 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 I won't make it <laughs> if I don't have my coffee. This, 
<clears throat> excuse me, guys. That is an asthma cough, not a coronavirus cough. Um, <laughs> um, we have, that's crazy. People with allergies and asthma. Do you guys, are you guys like terrified to like cough or sneeze or anything? I know I am. I take nebulizer treatments three, four times a day. And it, it, my husband hates it when I cough, but I can't help it. Anywho, I digress. <laughs> this big old bag of spinach, guys, it is um, two and a half pounds was $1.94. How insane was that at Costco? Um, some cucumbers from ShopRite. I ordered these, these four uh, creamers from ShopRite. And on my ShopRite from home order, it said that I didn't get half of them. So when we went to Costco, we got these because it said that they only gave me two. But when I got home, there they were. So, I mean, either way, you can freeze these if you don't know. Um, FYI, these freeze amazingly. You just take it out um, the night before if you're going to have coffee in the morning or, you know, that day if you're running low. Um, but these freeze well, so it'll get, you know, drink. I'm not worried about that. Um, we got some more cheese. I've been making a lot of things that you know, have cheese in it, quesadillas and this and that. Um, and then I also needed mozzarella because I got stuff to make lasagna, but realized I did not have nearly enough mozzarella. So um, we got these from Costco. Um, feta cheese, which I've been chasing down for weeks now, um, got from ShopRite. Um, thank God they had all three that I ordered. Um, and then we got some more butter. I ordered lunch meat and Swiss cheese and yellow American cheese. They did not have lunch meat at ShopRite. Um, so we just got the cheese. So we'll be eating a lot of grilled cheese. Um, and then these, uh, my daughters like these. They're a good snack for them. Even though they're older, they like these fruit cups. Um, and then I got some more chocolate chips. Because like I said, I've been baking a lot of cookies. Um, we were able to get a good amount of bread. Um, I thought that they, again, my shopper had order, I, gla I glanced at it before we ran to Costco because I wanted to see, all right, what we didn't get from there. Let's see what we can grab from Costco. Um, and it only had two of these on there. And I had ordered, um, a bunch of hot dogs, which I didn't get. So I got the, a pack, it said a pack one pack of each hamburger and hot dog but lo and behold i get home and it was two packs of each so we wound up buying more hot dog buns from costco because we were able to get two packs of hot dogs from costco um and then we got two loaves of this bread my husband likes this bread with the he says oats on top of it um but my me and my daughters don't like it so much i'll eat it if that's all there is but we really don't like it so much so I got, um, I was able to get two things of potato bread. Um, and then everybody knows about the good old rotisserie chickens from Costco. So we were able to get that. Um, I bought the frozen vegetables were two for, not that I needed any more vegetables. Cause I know I told you guys, I went insane with the vegetables I did, but I love vegetables. Um, I wanted to make shrimp fried rice. So these were two for, um, $4. Um, and I don't really eat a lot of peas and carrots except when I make um, shrimp fried rice. So I got one of these and then I got a pack of broccoli, which we'll do on potatoes. Um, and then I ordered salmon, um, which was like four. I ordered four pounds of salmon, which they did not give me. I think it came like two pounds or whatever. So my husband got that one at um, Costco. And then we got the shrimp for our shrimp fried rice. Um, I ordered two, a couple packs of um, ground beef from ShopRite. Um, they only gave me one that I saw, and I wasn't sure how much it was because I quickly glanced in the bag again. So when we went to Costco, we were able to get two more. There doesn't seem to be, for those of you that may be uh, wondering, there doesn't seem to be a limit on meat. Um, However, my husband did notice that like the Tyson's chicken breast, which was weird. We got the Kirkland brand chicken breast. There was no limit, but like the Tyson's chicken breast or the name brand, whatever chicken breast, there was a limit. So if you don't care, I suggest you get the Kirkland because then you can get more than one pack. We got three. Um, and then I ordered these. I thought it was a bigger bag because... Um, I don't know. I should have just got fresh peppers, which I normally do, and just cut up and freeze myself because these were like 99 cents, but whatever. Um, and the bags are like hella small. 
Um, and then we got some of these uh, turkey sausages because we've been making like um, breakfast sandwiches um, in the morning. And then uh, a couple boxes of Hot Pockets for my daughters. I ordered one, one thing of orange juice and I got three. I, which is, I'm going to show you another thing that I ordered one of and I got six of. But <laughs> yeah, so I don't know. I don't know if I paid for it. I don't know what, but I hope I didn't because uh, whatever, it'll get eaten or drank. Um, two things of ice cream. We got um, corn on the cob. I just got one of these. And then these I thought were way bigger bags than what they are, but they're very small. So that's, that'll just be one meal and that's it. Um, had to have some fresh fruit because I can't even take it with the frozen this and that. So we got some apples, um, a thing of bananas, two things of potatoes. Um, it says, it said that they gave me, I, I'm so confused. I don't know if I ordered red potatoes or regular potatoes, but they gave me regular potatoes. And then this, these were two for $5 guys. I ordered two of them. For a total of five dollars they gave me six six pineapples i have no idea what the hell i'm gonna do with the pineapples <laughs> you could comment down below and give me suggestions on what to make with them because i don't want them to go bad so we're gonna be eating pineapple morning noon and night i guess i don't know but um and then i got these baking cups to make um muffins um onions and then i got this I don't, my kids are driving me crazy drinking so much juice and whatever. So I just, we don't have the room in the refrigerator for it all. So, um, I got this so that they can make juice and, uh, a side note, they're really lazy and they don't really like to make it. So it won't get made that much. <laughs> um, easy off oven cleaner because, um, I don't know if I mentioned it in my clean with me video about, we just did our whole renovation and we got a stainless steel stove and there's something on it that I can't get off and I'm afraid to use something abrasive on it that's going to scratch it so I just bought that um a little chocolate treat for my husband he loves Lucy Pieces a little chocolate treat for me and this goes with that yeah ladies you feel me <laughs> and then we did get um two things of milk ice only one here and then I got these um from Costco it was an impulse buy and another YouTuber had posted that they got it. And I was like, I need that in my life. So, yeah. Um, <laughs> so, oh, also, uh, there's a couple things that I did not pull out of the pantry because my daughters were nice enough to put everything away. Even though I told them not to, so I don't want to be mean about it. But we got these um, and then a couple other little snacks. Um, cereal. Got a couple things of cereal for the pantry. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it, I think. Um, as you can see, we're still doing construction and all that over there, but, um, yeah. So this was our haul and, um, I hate that. Oh, also, sorry, medications. Um, I got some vitamin D and then my daughter takes melatonin, um, to sleep. Um, she's disabled. Um, and uh, all the other medications that she takes makes it hard for her to go to sleep. So she needs a little help going to sleep. So yeah, but that is our haul. Um, I'm hoping and praying that this will, should last us at least a month, um, or more, depending on how I finesse it. Um, and, uh, yeah, so, so what I wanted to tell you guys is that, yeah, Costco is amazing. Um, they have set everything up to where it's like taped off. Like you can't even get close to somebody, um, closer than six feet to somebody because they have everything taped off. When we walked in, the carts were all, um, wiped down. They were all set up and organized so that they were already six feet apart. Um, and it was just really great. They gave you like instructions. They told you from the door what they did not have, what they did have. Um, this particular Costco <clears throat> did not have any toilet paper, paper towels, bleach, anything like that. But they did have a limited supply of like Lysol and Lysol spray. So like the cleaning spray and the disinfectant spray. Um, they told you exactly where it was. And if you wanted to get one, you know, we were kind of close in the line. So we were able to be able to get some, but we didn't need it. So we didn't get any. Um, and also, um, 
like I said, a lot of the limits on certain stuff that had limits before were taken away, like a lot of the meats and stuff like that. Um, the only thing that I could see that had limits, like I said, was it was weird. The name brand chicken, but the Kirkland chicken didn't have limits. And um, of course, the water and things like that um, had limits. They didn't have toilet paper, so, but obviously it would be a limit on that. Um, but yeah, it was, Costco was hella, hella organized. ShopRite, not so much. When we got there, um, our we were the first appointment of the day. Um, we had to wait. I say we waited maybe about 20, 25 minutes for our order. Um, when the girl came out, I had qualified for the holiday um, meal, which you get like a free chicken or a free turkey or whatever. And I had put that on my order in the special notes and they did not give it to me. So I was kind of, I don't want to say upset about that, but I was like, Argh. um, and then the issue with the pineapples, I don't know if what happened there, <laughs> but I've never in my life ordered six pineapples. I, it is absolutely one of my favorite fruits, but I wouldn't have ordered six pineapples. So I don't know. I'll have to check my order to see what it actually said um but i i did not order six pineapples or three gallons of orange juice but um luckily for us we have a deep freezer so a lot of this stuff we can freeze and it won't go to waste or i don't have to worry about it going bad before we eat it so i'm not really too much worried about that but um with that being said i don't want to sound like um you know they didn't do a good job at shepherd because they were the girl was really really sweet she was really really helpful um and then they actually they did a great thing. Let me just take back. I take back everything I just said about ShopRite. They gave us $10 off our order for the wait. I completely forgot about that. I'm so sorry. Um, so yeah, um, when you make your order, you obviously have an appointment. It's a half hour appointment that you can get there to pick up your things. And then, you know, so she gave us $10 off, which was really, really great. So um, if I did not pay for these pineapples on orange juice, I'll be even more happy because... Again, these were two for five, so I would have paid $15 for six pineapples, <laughs> which could have been better spent. Um, and I believe the juice was $3.49 or something like that. So that's like, 12, I don't know, 10 lemon dollars for some orange juice. Um, but yeah, either which way, I am very, very grateful and very fortunate that we were able to get as much food as we were. And I hope you guys are doing well and that you fare pretty good um, with, you know, getting uh, the things that you and your family need and yeah, you know, just be conscious and, and uh, respectful um, and try to just get what you need and not necessarily hoard. Um, like I said, my intention is not to leave this house again for another month if I can help it to get anything. So I have a family of four. So, um, you know, hopefully we'll be fine. I think we'll be fine. Um, so... <sighs> Love and blessings and strength to everybody. Try and stay strong. I know it's very stressful through this time, but we will all get through this and uh, have a beautiful, blessed, wonderful day.